The next sum is purely a rectangle property sum. I want to say the next sum which you are going to see is a sum totally on rectangular property of circle. What's a rectangle property of circle? Whenever two chords, how many chords? Two chords intersect each other in the interior of the circle, the product of the lengths are what? Equal. See in this sum what is given to you. AX is what? 4 cm. XB is what? 2 cm. XD is 5 cm. And OX is 1 cm. By using all this information, what do you have to find now? You have to find or you have to calculate CX. Can you see CX? Where is CX? Yes, it's very much clear. And the second thing, what is there? You have to find the radius of the same circle. You have to find the radius of the same circle. First, we'll try to find CX. Now, see this very carefully. Chord AB and CD intersect in the interior of the circle. Where they intersect? In the interior of the circle. Therefore, by using the rectangle property of circle, what I get? I get XA into XB is equal to XC into XD. That is nothing but 4 into 2 is equal to XC into what? 5. That is 8 is equal to 5 XC. That is 8 upon 5 is equal to XC. By calculation, by simplification, what I get? CX is equal to what? 1.6 centimeter. So my first part is over. CX is equal to 1.6 centimeter. Now I have to find the radius. See, radius when two chords intersect in the interior of the circle, how do you find the radius? We can get the radius with the help of XA into XB is equal to R square minus OX square. By putting down the values, what do you get? 4 into 2 is equal to R square minus 1 square. That is 8 is equal to R square minus 1. 